Brandon Sheriff is heading into the last year of his deal. Hmm. And apparently, the two sides are pretty far apart at this point as far as a contract extension. So are you worried about the Redskins not being able to retain Brandon Sheriff going forward after the season with another huge question mark in Trent Williams, your left tackle? So you can't afford to lose both so your best, Trent <laughs> your best two linemen. Your best two linemen now are both in <laughs> One flux. new contract. Oh. Trent Williams, if you believe the reports, no longer wants to play for the Redskins or is just using it as a power play to leverage it for more money. And now Brandon Sheriff, the guy who's been to two Pro Bowls, <clears throat> On the interior of your line, one of your best offensive linemen. Apparently, the the sides are far apart. Now that that can be bridged at some point, hopefully, and you you come to a, a common number that works for both parties. Right. But as of right now, the sheriff camp's here, and the skins camp is over here. Yeah, it's, hmm. I think you it's bridge just, that gap. I just think that that's negotiation one hundred and one. Yeah. I just I could be wrong. I just assume that they're going to get their deals done, and they won't miss much time, if any, and they'll be starting in week one for the skins. But I don't that's, understand about his deal. If is, they don't, then that's obviously a huge problem. He's making tw- he's slated to make twelve point five million this year. Mm-hmm. Why did that number go up so high after his first four years of his deal? That's I don't just know. how it I don't works. Know, I don't know anything about the contract. It all gets dumped in, into the, like the last year of the rookie deal. Maybe like your, I your think that's last how it works. year number is high, whereas your first few years were a little more, more spread out. Is this year five? Or is it year, year five? That's amazing. He's a he's rookie already, in 2015. It's amazing. He's already been in the league for almost five years. Yeah. And I if you know, look, I just, at, I just assume they're going to get something done. See, here's the, thing. the Redskins can't afford to lose Trent and Sheriff. You wouldn't think. He wants something in the neighborhood of what Zach Martin got. Zach got six years, eighty-four million, yeah, so that's forty guaranteed, fourteen per season, okay, well, somewhere I mean, in that neighborhood. You got a rookie quarterback going forward. You know, maybe not in the first few weeks, but you got to protect them. Right. So you got to have your veterans, your but good players. But we don't players. anticipate Sheriff <laughs> holding out over this one, right? I don't. Yeah. So, and then it just, so, I mean, look, eventually they're going to have to work it out. That's what I mean. Eventually don't they're going to have to work it out. There's, I think there's time. Sure. And I think they'll pay him, too. Trent might be a little bit Trent's more serious. Trent's a different story. I still don't think Trent's going to miss game checks. Absolutely. He's going to do whatever he can to miss training camp. <clears throat> Because let's be honest, what he's been at training camp in the past, he's never a full participant. Mm-hmm. He rarely plays in, in preseason games. He might play for a series or two. He's a guy that you've always had to kind of manage being out on the field because of injuries. He's a guy who's 6'6", about 3'15". Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's going to take its toll on his body. You've Do you seen believe it over the years. Adrian Peterson, when Adrian says he hasn't spoken to Trent, and he hasn't spoken to him about it, and he has no idea, essentially, if he'll be there for training camp. Do you believe, so believe it? Because I thought AP and Trent were tight. Yeah, I believe that. Do you believe it when AP I says believe, I haven't really talked to him? I believe Trent is planning on not showing up until something's done. But yeah, do you I believe, believe that. the AP when AP says I haven't talked to him and I just don't know? Um, maybe. I mean, don't, but don't maybe he co- just wants to avoid it. I don't know. Aren't, aren't they partners in a gym mm-hmm. somewhere like like back in Texas? Doesn't mean they, they necessarily co-own. talk a lot, but I thought they were close. That By was way, my point. With the the recent uh, things that have come to light. For Adrian Peterson defaulting on a loan, I would the last person I'd want to be in business with is Adrian Peterson. <laughs> if I'm Trent Williams, yeah, good point. <laughs> I'm gonna to try to distance myself from going into business ventures with AP as much as I can going forward. Are skins fans worried about this? Uh, Williams and Sheriff? Are they do they or do skins fans feel like you're not gonna see those guys in camp? I don't believe that. Sheriff's gonna be there. I don't think there's growing concern. Trent, all right, different story, but like Cake says, Trent doesn't even need to be there. Right. Now, if he's not there week one, oh, yeah, you've got issues. Because there's no threat of holdout, at least that we know of. When there's no threat of holdout, I don't think fans are really too concerned about I mean, when or how much money Brandon Sheriff's going to get. <laughs> the reason why they're concerned about Trent is, A, he's their best player, and, B, he, I mean, he's threatening to hold out. Right, he's threatening, right. if you believe some reports, to never play for them again. Correct. 800-636-1067 is the number. Are you concerned, one, about Trent Williams, and two, about Brandon Sheriff and the contract negotiations that are ongoing where there's a chasm right now between the team and his representatives. You could <laughs> be looking at an Anthony Rendon to Sheriff. Yeah, I mean, he could just get the free agency and just roll out with no compensation could whatsoever. Get, we could be getting to that point. He could, you're right. Or are they going to franchise him? Are they, they going to do, do that bit? They could do that. Franchise, which is probably what they'll do, some sort of tag. Yeah, and then you get the, to the average of the top five at his position. 
And as you mentioned, Zach Martin's at the top of that heap making $14 million a season. I'm not that worried about Sheriff and when he gets his money. Because eventually he's going to get paid. Correct. I'm just not that worried. I don't. Yeah, I don't. He's not going to miss time. Trent, different story. But, but I still, I still think Trent. I still I think know. Trent. Yeah, but fans can't worry about that. I can't. Plus, he's a they guard. Got, fans have no control over it. You just got to hope that the skins make the right decisions. Usually, they don't. I can't get all worked up about a guard. But I think that they'll get. Pay, he'll get paid. He'll hard, get paid. hard enough to worry about a tackle. I'm not getting wor- worked up about a freaking guard. So it's just no, it's not but, happen. No, but you I mean when you have a rookie quarterback, you need. The best line in front of him. That rookie quarterback, I have no idea when he's going to play, but I don't think it's going to be early. Probably not. I think even the AP said this weekend. But was when he does say, saying, you don't want, you know, Tyler Catalina. No, you're right. I think AP even said this weekend that Case seems to have the edge. He did. Who's starting job. I have his quotes right here. Quote with Case Keenum, the quarterback runs everything, right? Offensively, we look really good with Case Keenum back there. He's a vet. He's been in the league for a long time. He's a gunslinger. He's a guy that's going to throw the ball and spread it around. He wasn't as glowing with his review of Haskins. What did he say? He said, having Haskins back there, too, I'm looking forward to seeing what he'll do in training camp. Once he gets more under his belt and becomes more comfortable, he'll be able to play faster as well. So, I mean, it's it's nothing earth-shattering. Well, Duh, the guy who's been in the league for a while is ahead of a rookie who has 11 games of uh, college experience. Keenum, talent-wise, should be ahead of Haskins developmentally at this point. Right. Right. But aren't you of the camp that you he would still start? He still thinks Haskins should start. I would Haskins. still start Haskins because I think the the upside, the ceiling for him He could be a complete disaster, high. though. He, he could wait, be, though. They are still trying wait to win games. It. I understand. Look. I don't think that this season's only to try and develop Haskins. I mean, they're trying to win games. Yeah, I think you should, yeah, you got to try to win games. Win yeah. as many as you can every year. That's what I mean. I don't like they're, this. They're still, even though we don't think they're a playoff team, they think they are. Well, well, somebody just had him delusional. at three and thirteen. Who did we read about that just had him? Or, or I think Rick Snyder tweeted something. Does Vegas have? He somewhere he saw a number for the Redskins projected at three and thirteen, which he thought was outrageous. Right. Well, the season win totals. I haven't seen Vegas put out one at three and a half or four. The highest I've seen is six and a half. Yeah, they're they're in between that five and a half to six and a half range. Right. So but, you know, Vegas thinks they'll be in that five and 11, six and ten range. Right. Maybe seven and nine. 